Gun Talk is brought to you by Springfield Armory, Black Hills Ammunition, Sturm Ruger and Company, When it comes to shooting in the dark, you have to figure out how you're going to see your target and how you're going to hit your target. Competitors are using lights, lasers, and even night vision to hit their targets in the dark. Well, we run exclusively on all of our gear, uh, the Crimson Trace uh, stuff. We have the, the flashlights on both of our Glock 34s, the new flashlights which we got in our shooter's bags for the shotgun. Uh, and then the VF series uh, forward grips with the laser light combination on the ARs. For me, I was just trying to stay, um, just keep it simple as much as possible and uh, either one light, one laser, or maybe uh, a light laser combo. Like I, I've got the Crimson Trace forward vertical grip here. It's got a, a red laser sight and a white light on it, which has been really, really great to shoot. We have duct tape on our shotgun and on our AR, and my handgun is held together with zip ties right now. So it's all good. Everyone's just piecing it together. It's so much fun. Everyone's just doing whatever it takes. Shooting at a night competition, most people focus on having lights and lasers on their guns. But don't forget suppressors. They can come in pretty handy. The reason I went suppressed, uh, a couple reasons. One is with the Colt rifle, we're able to gas it down uh, so it, it helps with recoil impulse. It's quieter, uh, easier to manage uh, for hearing uh, issues. And two, flash. It kills the flash. So, you know, night vision is important out here, running red lights, and then, you know, you get behind your rifle and you're, you're blasting flame out the, out the brake and it can mess with your vision. So that's why we choose to run the suppressors at this match. So what does a real three-gun shooter see when they shoot an event? We're here with one of the most decorated shooters of all time, Jerry Mitchell. Like, Jerry, this event at night is a little bit different than in the daytime, right? Well, Ryan, uh, what makes this event a little bit different for as, as the competitor uh, point of view is the equipment is supplied, the night vision is supplied, the ammunition is supplied. So when I walk up to the door here, it's like, here you go, man, play. <laughs> And then for this stage, they had night vision and IR lasers. Right. So that the IR laser is basically your aiming device. Is that right? It is. It's, it's a totally different shooting technique. Traditionally, you'd cheek the you cheek the firearm to get right. a, to get a sight picture. With the night vision, they're so bulky they would actually hit the firearm. Right. So you have to shoot with the heads up position, and you can see the laser from the point of origin all the way to the target. Okay. So it's it's basically like pointing your finger, except it's all the way to the target. There's 15 targets. You need to hit one A zone or two anywhere on the target will satisfy the target requirement. So the way this started is you start at this threshold, right, Jerry? Right, Ryan. What we're doing here, uh, your heels have to touch the, touch the mark here. Firearm in the up position here, mm -hmm. uh, muzzle up, laser is going to be on, your night vision is on, and on the timer, we have to go through this doorway to engage the first series of targets. So I know after I enter this door, my first shoot position has to be through the door on the left. Okay. Bring it into the first firing port, and I have four targets right through this window here. And I have one right through this window here. Oh, wow, okay. See, target number five is, I see about a third of a target here. Yeah. So there's not much A box to be had, and I gotta run all the way across the room. There's two targets <laughs> through that other window. Those two targets again in this stack. So that was seven, to, seven down, and it's 15 to go. So I got target eight at a little bit of distance, nine, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and hard to the right wow. is 15. Okay. So you can see with the difficulty here of shooting this way sure. to the right, hard right. Especially for a right-handed shooter. It adds to the difficulty a lot. <laughs> well, let's give it a run through at, at Jerry speed and okay. kind of show them what this looks like. All right, we can do it. Are you ready? Stand by. So 
15 targets, 30 shots, yep. and you're done in, you know, 30 or 40 seconds or whatever, yep. however long it takes. Well, this is just one stage of, of the nighttime three gun event, showing you in the daytime so you can see what's going on and learning from a legend. Fun stuff, guys, fun stuff. Stand by. Coming up, competitors make their way through the Crimson Trace Midnight Three Gun Invitation.